Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect external accesses to a robot. Now, it's important to understand that you can connect accesses both physically and remotely to a robot. For example, go and select the robot, and then move the robot towards a track. And notice, using the PMP command, I get a green arrow saying I can connect the robot to the track. So when I move the robot closer, notice the robot connects physically to this track. And now if I interact with the track, Notice that now the robot is moving on that platform of the track. Now this happens because both this track and the robot have a one-to-one -one interface that allows for a physical connection. They also allow for a parent-child hierarchy. So right now the robot is attached to the node of this platform and that's why the robot and the platform move. So let's reset the simulation to return the value to zero. And let's turn back on the PMP command. Now let's say you want to remotely connect this robot to this positioner over here. Well, since you can't physically connect the robot to that positioner, you have to remotely connect it using a connection editor. And to see those connection editors, just go and select the robot. And you don't need to go to the program tab. You can do all of this while building a layout. So on the home tab, I'll go to the show group, and then select this checkbox here called interfaces. Notice this displays the connection editor for the interfaces in the robot. So I connect a workpiece positioner or a special accessory. And if I go and point to this port here with my cursor, I hold on the left mouse button and I drag the pointer away. Notice a wire is displayed in the 3D world for me to wire a remote connection. And I also get a visual indication in the 3D world. You can see over here this node is highlighted yellow. That means I can connect this interface in the robot to this node here in this component. So if I actually just drag the wire into there and I let go of the left mouse button, Notice that now that connection is automatically wired and the robot is connected to the positioner. Like so. Now if you wanted to remove this connection, you can just point to the wire and click the scissor icon here. Now the reason why this connection works is that the robot has an abstract interface. In this case, it's connect workpiece positioner. That's the name of it. And this interface is set to import joint values. So it's importing the joints that are exported from this positioner's one-to-one -one, uh, interface. So it could be a one-to-one -one interface, it could also be a one-to-many. You can't con remotely connect several different positioners if you wanted to. So let's see how this works out. Let's program the robot. So on the program tab, I'll go and click that. And let's actually just restore the windows. And now to interact with the robot, I'll just use the jaw command. And this actually allows me to interact with joints. So notice I can just directly you know, move the platform if I wanted to, like so. And let's actually hide the uh, connection editors for now. So on the show group, I'll go and clear that interface's checkbox. And let's actually just kind of move the positioner like so, move it around, just to test out the joints. And let's go and just rotate the robot just a bit like so, so we can get a better look at that logo. Yeah, all right. And now let's just teach a point-to-point -point motion statement for the robot. And now that I have the statement and the position selected, I'll go over here to the statement properties panel and notice I have this E1, E2, and E3. Now every motion statement you create is going to have the properties for the external joints that are connected to the robot, or external axes, excuse me. So right now E1, that's most likely the track that's set to a large value. E2 and E3, those are most likely coming from the positioner. So let's actually reset the simulation and let's just change the joints of the positioner. And now since I still have uh, position one selected, I'll go and touch up this position. So if I use the touch up command here in the program editor panel, notice that now over here in the statement properties panel that E1 external joint is set to zero and E2 and E3 have a different value. So we know for sure that these two uh, external uh, properties are set to the positioner over here and E1 is for the track. So now if I just move the robot back over here, move it like so, touch up the position, notice that, yes, the external joint values are updated again. This concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please view our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.